With further local lockdowns being implemented across the country, I wanted to tell you what the current situation is in Ealing with new COVID-19 cases in the seven days between the 27th of July and the 2nd of August. We've had 28 new cases in that week. That's an increase of seven on the week before. So that's 8.2 new cases per 100,000 of population. Now that's similar to the rest of the North West uh, of London and London as a whole, and it's still low, and so we're not seeing a local outbreak. However, we're not complacent, and our Ealing public health team monitor the number of new infections in the borough every day. And uh, for those of you who've been tracking uh, these numbers, you'll have seen that there has been a small rise each week for the last two weeks. Uh, so we need to remain vigilant. We need to continue to social distance, uh, wear face coverings, regularly wash our hands and get a test and self-isolate if we have any COVID-19 symptoms. Now, we're not at the levels of other areas in the country where lockdowns have been imposed. But if we don't follow the rules, the virus could quickly spread. So in co comparison to that 8.2 per 100,000 that we've currently got in Ealing, um, let me tell you what other areas have got where there are local lockdowns. In Blackburn, uh, 81.9 per 100,000, Leicester 64.7, Oldham 52.6, Bradford 48.4 and Rochdale 39.5. Now, obviously, we're not the same, but uh, if we're not um, very vigilant, then quickly the virus can spread and those numbers can go up. And I have to say, when I was out this week wearing my uh, face covering, I was concerned about the number of people who were not wearing face coverings in shops or on public transport. And also people were not trying to keep that two metre social distance either. So I think we really do need to uh, up our efforts and uh, spread the message that uh, we need to keep following the rules to stop a local outbreak and to keep Ealing safe. Now, one of the highlights of the summer in Ealing is the Chariot Festival. It happens on the second Sunday of August every year in West Ealing. It's organised by the Chapel Road Tamil Hindu Temple. Tens of thousands of people normally come to Dean Gardens. But because of COVID, this year's Chariot Festival is not taking place. We're asking all worshippers to celebrate at home. Now, everyone needs to make these kind of sacrifices uh, to stop the spread of the virus and save lives. And I want to thank everybody who, for various religious festivals, has followed uh, the rules and taken that common sense approach to protect others by staying at home. So um, let's make sure we continue to do that and we will save lives. Also, we're enjoying some more summer sunshine. Um, it's very hot and uh, I know you'll be using our parks over the weekend. So please, when you do go to our parks and have picnics, take your rubbish home. Don't leave it in the park. Finally, I just want to give an update on uh, progress with Ealing Cinema. I was able to go and do a site visit this week uh, and see the progress that's been made. And yes, there's been a delay because of COVID, but things are still progressing. I was able to see the steel frame where the thousand seater eight screen new cinema will be. Um, St. George are looking to complete uh, the building of the cinema by the end of uh, this year, and they will hand it over to Picture House, who then have a fit out period, which will mean the cinema is ready by autumn 2021. So we will get our cinema. You can see the photographs uh, and my update on my Twitter feed at Julian G. Bell. Um, I'm confident that eventually we are going to get our cinema.